Hi guys, welcome back to some more FIFA 14 action on the Xbox One. We have a career with Sporting KC. I've sorted the team out already for this game against Chicago. We're going to go straight in to the game now, quickly show you the, uh, the starting lineup. We've got Nielsen, Mayers, Colum, uh, Bezler, uh, Bessone, Nagamura, Lopez, Zusi, Saad, Philhaber, and Bunbury up front. Okay, here we go. MLS action. It's Sporting KC versus Chicago Fire. Zussi with the ball down the right, looking to go forward, finding a lot of space, taking on his man, looking to get a cross in. Gets the cross in, and we can't get ahead on the end of it. Bunbury looking to get through past his man. Bunbury can. He can see someone at the far post. Can he get the cross? And he can get ahead on it. No. Zussi with the ball. Inside to Fieldhaber, inside to Bunbury who should be further forward. Bunbury finds Sunni Saad down the left. Sunni Saad looking to take on his man. Tries to get the crossing, can do. Can't get ahead on the end of it, but we've got a free man. Fieldhaber can't get on it. And that's easily cleared by Chicago. Okay, so that's 0-0 uh, nil -nil at half time. Pretty uneventful first half, not many chances for either side. Um, Trying to get a few crosses in, but just could not get um, headers on the end of it. Um, have a look at the stats, see how we're looking. I don't think there's that was that many chances. Yeah, we didn't have any shot, any, any real shots on goal. Um, Chicago had one that was a tame effort. It was, I think it was like 30 yards out that the keeper had covered. He got blocked as well. 50% um, possession is about right. Pretty boring game so far. Let's get on to the second half. Corner to uh, Sporting here in the uh, 52nd minute. I don't want Bunbury taking it. I want someone else, someone with uh, decent corners like uh, Zeus. We want Bunbury in the middle to try and get on the end of it. Here we go. Corner whipped in. Can we get someone on it? Look to potentially get someone on it, but it's fallen to Nagamura, edge of the box. Plays it to Bezler, who gets dispossessed, and the attack breaks down. Okay, Zussi with the ball down the right, looking to get past his man, but uh, finally can. Whips in across, Bunbury with a free header, and is that offside? Or is that a, or is that a free kick? If they're looking at that, that looks to be a looks to be a, a free kick. Yeah, he got pulled back. Don't want Bunbury taking it, do we? So Zussi taking it. Yeah, this free kick whipped in, and can we get a header on it? Yes, we can. Well, that's easily blocked. Out to Myers, plays it out wide to uh, to Zussi. Zussi going down the wing, past his man, whips the ball in, back post. There's Saad, can't get a header on it. And that looks to be cleared by Chicago. Chance for Chicago, ball on the edge of the box. Into the box now, it's a shot and that's a good save. Rebound and that's gone, I think that went out for a goal kick. Yeah, yeah, should have, uh, should have scored that one. Oh, save, oh Christ yeah open goal, I had half the goal to aim at, lucky there. Okay time to make some substitutions I think, a few players are a bit uh, low on energy, so let's freshen the team up. Who have we got on the bench, um, Sarpon can actually play on the right can so let's have him on for Zussi, Saad, let's have you off and Pettersson on. And we'll have Joseph in midfield instead of Nagamura as he's low on energy and uh, was booked as well. Joseph with the ball down the right. Crosses it in. Can we get someone on the end of it? Bunbury on the end of it. And that's 1-0. Golasso from Bunbury. Finally, the second half pressure pays off. Finally, we can get a head on one of these crosses that are coming. Joseph with the decisive, uh, decisive cross. And a great header from Bunbury across the face of the keeper. Keeper, no chance, just stood there and watched it. Brilliant goal. So 1-0 after about 68 minutes, I think. 74 minutes. Danger again from Chicago. Ball in the box. We need to get something on the end of it. Great tackle. Weak shot. Spilled by the keeper and blazed wide. Jesus, that was a comedy of errors. I don't know what the keeper was doing to spill that there and then for the Chicago player to play it wide was 
was criminal to be honest. Patterson with the ball down the left. Whips an early crossing. Can we get a header on the end of it? We can. It's played down. It's Fieldhead with the ball. He shoots. Oh, what a touch. What a goal from Fieldhaber. Unbelievable finish. That was a that was a fantastic finish, was that one. So if it was the cross was good. The header down from Bunbury, then the one touch, bang. Did that bounce or was it straight up on the volley? Yeah, it did bounce. One touch. Boom. What a finish. See it from behind the goal. Again. Oh, what a volley. Beautiful finish there from Phil Haber. Makes it 2 0. Surely the game is out of sight now. Yep, five minutes to go. Surely. Surely we can win this. Joseph with the ball now. Can he use his pace? Joseph now looking to get in the box. Joseph in the box has a shot, and that's gone for a corner. Just as he was about to release the trigger, Francis got a toe in and put it out for a corner. And we want uh, Pettersson to take this. Pettersson whips it in. Header on the end of it. No, that's gone all the way through. Did that touch anyone? Nope, it's gone for a Chicago throw. Chance for Chicago in injury time on the edge of the box. They can't get the ball in yet. Still trying to work it round the edge of the box. Are they going to try and get a cross in now? I'm going to hopefully hold him down. And that's gone for a corner to Chicago. Ball comes in, headed clear. Surely, surely this is the end of the game, ref. Go on, blow up. Oh, Joseph with a chance. And that's it. Yep, referee blows for full time. 2 0 home win. Pretty happy with that. In fact, I'm not more than pretty happy with that. It was a, uh, it was a great win, to be honest. That keeps us up there. Let's have a look at the stats. So we've gone from having. Uh, from having um, no shots to, to three and having two of those on target for the two goals. 51% possession, 20 tackles, three fouls, two corners. Chicago had six shots, two on target, no goals. Uh, it looks like man of the match was Bezler with... That's uh, so Nielsen, we've got an 8.1 rating. Bezler with an 8, Bunbury with an 8, Phil Haber with a 7.9, Joseph who came as a substitute with a 7.8. Nagamura, who uh, got booked, only had a 6.2 and got subbed. Oh, that's uh, that game over. Looks like, wow, loads of clean sheets across the board. Only DC United scoring in the other games. And we have an office. Sunni Saad, last match. I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out there and play while I'm in form. No problem, fella. Right, a bit of a break now until the next game. Hopefully we'll skip through this uh, simulation pretty well couple of scouting updates as well it looked like um, yep press conference don't need to worry about that Fernandez with his scouting report so 77 max for Rodriguez 82 max for Julio Gutierrez 77 max for that keeper 75 max for Ruiz so it's get rid of Ruiz get rid of Luis Mendoza wasn't he a character in um, uh, Mighty Ducks Luis Mendoza name rings a bell Rejects that one. Gabriel Rodriguez. Let's reject you. And Julio Gutierrez. I'm going to sign him up now. Um, with the with the idea that we can look to loan him out in the summer transfer window. And give him a bit of experience. So that is, uh, that is my thoughts with him. And Alvarez is also a scout report. Hopefully he's got something better. Right, 75 max for Jill Couto. So let's get rid of him. And Miguel Faria, 86 max. You know what? Um, let's just continue to scout him. We've got plenty of time yet. Don't have to worry about that. Um, I just want to quickly check the finances. So we are looking okay. We may need to definitely sell someone in... I mean, Bunbury... There's one thing I actually want to check with Bunbury. I just want to see his work rates because in that game against Chicago he was drifting a lot and Phil Habert was the main guy I think he's got high he's got he's got low defensive work rate but he was drifting into that cam roll a bit too much and Phil Habert at times was the furthest player forward um you know what I think I'm going to stick with that team it was it's a winning team we'll stick with the same bench as well although uh Biela can come on for Dom Dwyer other than that, actually Biela can start this game. 
and so can Joseph to be fair. We'll have Joseph on, sorry, Sarpong, sorry, can start, he can go on the left, and Bunbury will have Biela up front. Suni Sad playing well, but he can come on and be an impact sub for this game, in which we are playing Montreal Impact. So, let's get into the game now. Okay, here we go. MLS action. Sporting KC versus Montreal Impact. Evening game as well. Let's get into the action. Throw in to Sporting. Nagamura with the ball, looking to find someone in space. Plays it inside to Lopez. Lopez looks to go around his man. Lopez has a shot, edge of the box, and that's gone just wide. Was it deflected or is it a goal kick? I think it's a goal kick. Yeah, they're all running back. Goal kick to Montreal. Let's have another look. Was it going anywhere near goal? It was dipping. I think if he'd got it on target, gonna had a good chance. Keeper was rooted. Sarpong with the ball. Sarpong gets the cross in. Can we get a header on the end of it? Yes, we can, but that's a weak header. Sarpong now with the ball again down the left. Jinx backwards. Goes back again. Gets dispossessed. Bessone now back to Sarpong. Sarpong with the ball. Sarpong whips it in. And the keeper punches that clear. Lopez with the ball. Lopez crosses. And that's a header on goal, but that's gone over the bar. Okay, that's half time. Nil nil. Pretty, uh, once again, a pretty dull first half. A few chances. Phil Haber there with a the shot that got blazed over the bar early on in the game. No, only one goal in the other games. I'll have a quick check on the stats. We had three shots, uh, none on target. Montreal had two shots, two on target, but one of them was that pretty weak effort that just bounced through to the keeper. We have bossed the possession. We are bossing it, but we just can't seem to break them down and get a good quality chance on goal um, hence why we've had no uh, no shots on target but let's get on with the second half Zussi now with the ball down the right looking to get past his man he spots someone in the box Zussi cuts inside finally gets the cross in back post header and that's gone wide past the goal but we're still on the attack now with Myers to Zussi who is offside god damn it Phil Haber with the ball out wide to Zussi. Zussi looking to find someone in space. Sees Myers open on the right. Myers now with the ball. Myers decides to cut back inside. Plays it to Nagamura. Nagamura looking to find space. Gets dispossessed, but uh, Myers has it. It's now with Zussi. Zussi looking to come inside. Plays the ball back to Bessone. Bessone goes forward. Finds Sarpong down the left. Sarpong cuts inside. Finds Biela. Biela trying to get past his man, can't. Fleehaber now with the ball. Fleehaber looking to try and find some room, but there is a bank of Montreal players in front of him. Fleehaber plays it to Sarpong. Sarpong now, edge of the box, and he gets dispossessed. And it looks like the attack is breaking down. No, Bessone now with the ball back, but he actually loses it, and yep, that's the attack over. Montreal with the ball down the left, comes inside to Romero. Romero dink ball through. Can we block this? Yes, we can. Is that a penalty? No, thank God for that. Easily cleared. But only as far as a Montreal player. They now have the ball again on the left. Edge of the box now. Don't want to give away a foul here. Cross comes in. It hits the post. Holy crap, was that the post or bar? But it's gone out for a corner. Let's have a replay of that. I think it hit the crossbar, but I couldn't tell if it was crossbar or if it was um, post. Substitutions being made by Montreal. Let's... Uh, See if we can get this corner cleared ASAP. Corner comes in, headed clear. Uh, not that far, but that shot's uh, gone way wide and it's a goal kick. Time for some substitutions. A few players are looking a bit knackered. We'll get rid of uh, Sarpong on the left and have... Who should we have? Let's have Suni Saad. We'll go with Bunbury up front. Um, Joseph had a decent game last time, so we'll have him on instead of Nagamura again. Transfer Montreal, Marco De Vaya with the ball down the right-hand side, looking to try and get a cross in, but he's crowded out. Finally, he gets the cross in, and that's easily taken care of by our keeper. Suni Saad with the ball inside, finds Fleehaber. Fleehaber trying to find someone, can't, goes past his man, Fleehaber in the box. Tries to have a shot, but he gets tackled. And we are in injury time now. Montreal on the attack. 
easily broken down. Lopez now forward to Joseph. Joseph to Fielhaber. Fielhaber looking to try and find someone. Can't, so goes it alone and loses it. And that's it. That's all she wrote. 0 0 draw at home to Montreal. A quick check on the stats. So, pretty poor game for us. No shots on target. Five shots for Montreal, two on target. We bossed possession as per the first half. Caught offside three times as well. Only one corner in the game, and that was to uh, Montreal. Quick look at the uh, player ratings. Bezler with an 8. Um, Zussi with a 6.9. Myers 7. Colon 7.7. 7. Nielsen 7.2. Um, nothing much really to report. Pretty pretty poor game, but at the end of the day, it's a point rather than none. So it's definitely something it's definitely positive to take from that. And we currently sit second in the table, second in the Eastern Conference on ten points with a goal difference of plus three. And in the Western, it's Dallas at the top. Real Salt Lake are second with 10 points with a plus 3. So we're not doing too bad. Still awaiting our opponents in the uh, cup. Looks like we've got a bye straight through to the quarters, which is always nice. Alright, let's get advancing to this uh, next game. As we have a squad report. So, wow, this keeper's down to 77 max. Figuring doing 59 and 77. Um... Um, I'll cancel that. I'll keep him in the youth team for now. We'll have to see. Um, I'll quickly do a squad report so we can see how everyone is getting on. Jimmy Nielsen has stayed the same, but that's to be expected. He's retiring at the end of the season. Mize has stayed the same. Colon up one, whose contract is expiring in nine months. Besler has stayed the same. Bessone the same. Nagamura the same. Lopez the same, has th has that something special, so I'm glad we're giving him some game time. Zussi up 1 to 74. Sarpong has stayed the same. Uh, Fuelhaber has gone up 1 to 69. Biela stayed the same. Olam has stayed the same, but he's not had much game time. Suni Saad has stayed the same. Kempin the same. Bunbury up 1. Jerome the same. Joseph hasn't moved. Pettersson hasn't moved. Uh, Medranda has gone up one. We're going to look to actually uh, sell him if we can. Ruiz, also transfer listed, hasn't moved. Duke um, recently joined the club, so we can't transfer list him yet. I can release him, but if I can get some money for him, I'd prefer to do that. Kyle Miller hasn't moved. He's also transfer listed. Dom Dwyer hasn't moved yet. Oreo Rasol is now match fit following his injury. His contract is expiring as well. Kevin Ellis has gone up one. He's transfer listed. Sasinovic, his contract is uh, expiring in nine months and he is uh, stayed the same on 66. Opara, he has stayed the same and his contract is also expiring. Kronberg is transfer listed. Josh Gardner is down one. His contract is expiring. Going to look to try and sell him and that's it. So I think now that with uh, all those contracts expiring, it's good to go and sort of see who we want to re-sign. And uh, Colon is one of the players we want to re-sign. Two years. He is a crucial first-team player. Seth Sinovic. Um, we'll give him three years, and he can be an important first-team player. Uh, Oriol Rossell, he is an important first-team player. He wants same wage for three years. He can have that. Fielhaber, he wants one year. I want him for two years, to be honest. In fact, if I can get him for three years, give him a 20% goal bonus and make him a crucial first-team player. Uh, Bunbury, if I can sign him for a couple of years, same wage. He's happy to be a squad rotation player, so we'll stick and see if he wants that. Suni Saad is another guy I want to keep. Um, we'll give him a squad rotation as well. CJ Sarpong is definitely an important first-team player. Give him a goal bonus as well. Opara is one that will hopefully be good in a couple of years' time, so we're going to keep him if we can. And Gardner, I'm not too worried about, is one I potentially want to sell. So you know what? No, let's not worry about Gardner. He's only rated 59. I think there's better out there we can find. Even free agents, I still think there's better out there. But 
a couple of days till the next game against DC United. Um, Opara has accepted the contract. Sarpong has accepted the contract. Suni Saad has accepted the contract. Uh, Bunbury contract contract length demands have not been met. Um, he wishes to review. Okay, so we'll give him time for that. All right. Let's ask my uh, assistant to pick the team. Nielsen needs to stay in goal. I'm going to give Sinovic the game. Well, actually, it's put him in already. Bezla, Kalan, and Myers. Sarpong on the right. Zusi in the cam role. Pettersson on the left. I want Suni Saad in there, actually. I like using Suni Saad. Phil Haber in the defensive mid. Medium and medium for his work rates. Yeah, you know what, I'm happy with that. Finishing for Zusi is uh, 67. Phil Haber finishing is 60. Yes, yeah, so we've got the best finisher in that um, central in the central attacking mid roll. Right, DC United coming up. Free kick for Sporting KC. Phil Haber with the ball finds Myers. Myers has a shot edge of the box, and that's uh, blocked. Early doors. Can we get the ball back? Yes, we can. It's with Zusi now. Has a shot edge of the box. That's also saved. Early shot, and that's gone wide. That was a great chance by Biela. Should have scored that one. All came about from a free kick. Look at that. Had the chance. Should have at least hit the target, but didn't. Biela with the ball. Finds Suni side in some space. Suni side inside the box. Has a shot, and that's saved by the keeper. Shot again, and that's gone wide. Second shot should have been on target. Great save by the keeper, uh, Bill Hammer, to start with. Who I may look to make. Um, I may look to make a transfer bid for uh, Bill Hammer. We had him in FIFA 13 with Sporting KC, so I may look to bring him in again. But we'll just have to see. See how much um, DC United want for him. And that's it. That's the end of the first half. Pretty pretty eventful stuff. We had a few chances. Should have at least been 1-0 up. I definitely have to say that. We should have at least made one of our chances count that we had, but just could not get a... Get, the two shots we had on target were both easy for the keeper, and out of the three shots that were off target, a couple of those should have at least been on target. DC United bossing possession only just. They're having a bit more of it, but when they're having it, it's in non-crucial areas of the game. So, let's get on to the second half. Phil Habert with the ball, looking to find someone in space. Plays it over to Sarpong down the right. Sarpong trying to get past his man. Decides to cut inside. Sarpong finds Myers. Myers back to Sarpong. Sarpong past his man. Looks to get the crossing, can do, there's Zusi in the middle, has a shot, and that was uh, was a pretty tame effort. Zusi was always uh, struggling to get on the end of that, Easy uh, would have been an easy save for the keeper had he got it on target, but it was over the top of the bar. Okay, time to make some substitutions, I think we just need to, to freshen things up. So we are going to take off Suni Saad and have... Let's have Dom Dwyer. We'll have Bunbury on for Biela and we'll have Lopez on in midfield instead of uh, Oriol Russell. He's just come back from injury so we don't really want to be giving him too much to do. Sinovic with the ball down the left. Looks to play it through. Finds Bunbury. Bunbury with the ball down the left but there's going to be no one in the middle if he is down the left so we need to hold play up. Inside. Finds Zusi, edge of the box. Zusi has a shot and that is blocked. Dwyer with the ball through to Bunbury. Bunbury inside to Lopez. Lopez into the box, has a shot and that's blazed over the bar. That was that was our one chance to score and that was a pretty poor effort. Would have preferred it to have fallen to someone else but that's criminal. Should have at least been hitting the target. Sarpong with the ball. Sarpong looking to try and find some space. Can't find any at the moment. Sees Myers out wide right. Myers going past his man. Myers looks to cross it in. He can do. And that's gone out for a goal kick. Pretty poor cross. That's it. Oh, she wrote another nil-nil draw. We're not conceding, which is pretty good. But we're also not scoring, which is the main worry. 
we we're creating the chances, but when the, we're having these chances, they're just not falling to the right people. I don't know if it's the formation with only having one up front. You see there we had eight shots and only managed three of those on target, which is to me uh, that that is appalling. You should be at least hitting fifty percent of your shots on target. Um. So yeah, let's have a look at the uh, ratings. Uh, Benny Fieldhaber with a 7.4 was the pick of the bunch. Suni Saad with a 7.3 before he got substituted. Sapong with a 7.2. Let's advance and we'll see how uh, how the table is looking. Hopefully we haven't fallen back too far. We were in second and we are still in second in the Eastern Conference. We're two points behind New York, but they have played one game less than us. We are two points ahead of Houston, who um, who are only two points. Yes, yeah, so we're we're two points ahead of Houston, and they, we've played two games more. So obviously, see, see, it's not doing too bad. See, we are only second on the goals against. Only conceding two in six games is pretty good, but only scoring five in those. Uh, six games, so that that's less obviously less than a goal a game, which is pretty poor. Um, three offices, so let's have a look at these. Um, contracts have been accepted by Fieldhaber, Sinovic, and Colum or Colin. So I'm just going to skip this forward to the next game, so we can see if anything happens. As Oriol Russell has accepted his contract, so we'll skip it forward. I'm not going to play the next game. That was the uh, final game in this episode. But our next game is away at New York. And looks like with us not having a game, other teams have caught up. Houston won the two games they had in hand. Houston are now second. They've got five wins and one defeat from f uh, six games. They're on 15 points. We are now down to third, with still with 11 points from six. New York unbeaten in seven games. They've got five wins and two draws, only conceding four goals. We have conceded the fewest goals in the Eastern Conference, only conceding two. And not that one. If I go, not that one, is it? I want to go that and have a look at the Western. In the Western, LA Galaxy lead the way with only conceding three goals. But it's Real Salt Lake from Seattle, then LA, then Dallas, then San Jose in the Western. In the Eastern, it's New York, Houston, Sporting, then Toronto and Philadelphia. Montreal, yet to win a match. And Colorado, also yet to win a match. Well, guys, I will call it a day there, and I'll be back with you in a couple of days with the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers.